Hi, I'm John Kennedy from Silicon Republic, and today we have the Galaxy Nexus S. So here we have the Google Nexus S smartphone made by Samsung. And um, this is a very, very uh, interesting device uh, from, from, from this Google stable. As you know, Google started the ball running last year with its own manufactured phone called the uh, Nexus. And, um, you know, while it was a, in some ways a technology breakthrough, it wasn't totally a commercial success. And uh, this time around, they've decided to work with a manufacturer uh, like Samsung and uh, bring it out to the market through, through uh, various uh, retail outlets. This time around, it's going to be uh, Carphone Warehouse. The first thing you'll notice about the device is actually it's uh, got a very uh, convex screen here. So it's a, they call it the contour feature. It's got a slight curve to it, so it's the idea of that is to make it more um, ergonomic in your hand, so you know it's more comfortable, etc. Um, it's as you can see, uh, it's got a four-inch screen, uh, which is slightly longer than the iPhone, and it's brilliant for again watching videos, etc. One of the nice, neat features I like about it is uh, just how it presents its apps. As you notice, there is a nice um, descending quality to it, um, as you can see there. And uh, the device itself, uh, it has uh, all the apps on as you want, but very easy to maneuver and uh, put things where you want them to do. So here's YouTube. So here we are playing just a video from YouTube, Silicon Republic. This is an interview we just did earlier this week with uh, Eamon Ryan, former Minister for Communications uh, from the Green Party. As, as a smartphone, um, I think it's probably one of the more um, together devices that have come out with Android. Uh, this one's Android 2.3, uh, Gingerbread. Um, as you can see on this, uh, it's very much integrated into the Google experience. So I'll just show you a feature I really like is search. So let's go and do search here. Petrol station. And as you can see, it brings me to all the places I need to go on a petrol station. Let's go to Maps. I mean, this really does join together the various um, experiences you can well expect with, 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 with a device made by Google, because it again, it shows all the apps that Google makes in, in, in perfect, uh, perfect unison. So as a phone itself, I found uh, it's bringing apps to the marketplace in a way that I thought only Apple and its iPhone could. So with the Google Nexus S device, for example, uh, apps like uh, TweetDeck, for example, uh, one of my favorite Twitter applications, uh, show themselves in a very kind of clear and easy to read format, which wasn't always the case, I thought, on, 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 on devices other than the iPhone. For example, I'll show you Facebook here. Again, the, it makes full use of the of the full screen. Uh, one of the nice features about it as well, I also liked, was the uh, camera on it. It's a five megapixel camera. Um, basically, it's what you would expect from cameras. You can shift from video to to uh, to normal stills uh, in in no time. Um, it's good quality pictures, but what I really like about it is the fact that with very little effort, uh, I can share to whatever medium I want to share it to. So it means uh, there's less footering around. Now, with the iPhone, its rival device, for example, uh, you don't really have the option to just throw uh, a picture you've taken r right into an application unless you're inside that application itself. So often when I'm in a hurry to take a picture, like most people would be, I'm not always thinking about you know what application to use. I'm you know, just thinking about getting the picture taken, and after that, I end up having to worry about where how I'm going to share it. So, this is a very welcome feature. As you can see, uh, the phone is really, really well well, well developed for um, tackling uh, Google applications. Because this is Google Earth on on the device, and um, it's it's really cool. I was looking up Australia, Darwin yesterday because that's where one of my members of family is. So. Uh, but again, if I want to search for something, 
I can search for Dublin. And it's going off to find me Dublin on the other side of the world. So to sum it up, I think the Nexus S uh, smartphone from uh, Samsung and Google is potentially one of the standout devices of, of 2011. I just think it's got a really easy feel about it. It gels together nicely. Um, previous versions of Android I felt felt to me a little brittle and a little weak at times uh, whereas you know the iPhone as its rival seemed to just have a little more together on things particularly apps because there just were more for it at the time but you can see the apps are coming on in, in strength uh, they're they're good quality and everything works in a very seamless fashion um, again only niggle I have slightly about the Nexus S is, is its power um, but at the same time I think as a smartphone it's an accomplishment and you know, a very stylish, well-designed device. So, yeah, watch out for this year.